Hello, in this video I'm going to try and explain how we do here our homemade bread and these are the ingredients. So it's a very simple recipe which starts with uh, 400 grams of uh, water, plain tap water or filtered if you want to. We don't really uh, use anything else. If it's good to drink, it's good to make bread. And then we had uh, 100 grams of our sourdough starter and um, this um, mixture we will mix this uh, very thoroughly until we we cannot see any lumps and then we we add additionally um, flour we use here in portugal uh, uh, wheat flour type 65 I think you can use um, bread dough, uh, bread um, flour, simple bread flour, and now we mix it thoroughly until we have um, mixed every uh, last bit of uh, flour into water. So this is to hydrolyze the, the mixture and make sure that everything is uh, consistent and, uh, and perfect. So this is a very wet dough, so don't be alarmed if it, it seems to be too sticky. And um, that's, that's how it is. And now we, um, we will let this mixture hydrolyze for about half an hour or more, so it's up to you. Um, and before you add salt, so we let everything uh, be coming together and... Um, uh, get to know each other very easily and then add salt um, uh, we know that there is an editing error on the video uh, we cannot find how but well at the end it is what it is so we now wait about 8 grams of fine salt we use uh, table salt um, the best thing to use is uh, uh, the purest uh, marine salt you can find I think it probably you could, get, could probably use kosher salt. We don't have it around here, so um, we then mix the salt, this very fine salt, with our bread dough, and mix it thoroughly until you can incorporate each and every um, salt grain in order to um, bond it together. So this is called a no need bread which is true because you don't need it but you can you need to mix it around for for a while as soon as this is um, completely mixed we let it rest on the fridge for about 24 to 48 hours it's really up to you in this in this video i just thought it would be funny to time lapse it and let it prove um, for three and a half hours on the tabletop and before we transfer it to the fridge to make the, the longest proving. So now uh, this um, bread um, dough gets to, to sit on the fridge for two days. That's what we did. Then we flour up our uh, bread basket, so it is, it's called a banetone, I think, and also your um, table surface, your table, your, uh, well, where, wherever you, you put the dough on. Then you transfer the dough, it's a very sticky dough, so you can see that it's already double in size on the fridge for two days. And now the operation is very simple. Uh, but it seems to be uh, rather complicated. So, in essence, what we do, we do a fourfold um, operation on the on the on the dough. We just flour our uh, hands to to let it not stick, and then fold it four times to create some tension on the bread dough. And then we transfer this um, this dough to the the basket, and it will prove for at least one hour at room temperature. This is a very important step. In here we will see another editing error, I think. Yes, it is. So this we will proof again. Um, we use a very simple shower cap 
just to make sure that no residue falls onto the bread dough. About half an hour into the, the proofing stage, we heat up the oven at maximum temperature. Here in Portugal, our ovens don't go very far above 420 degrees Fahrenheit. So you probably could set yours to 450, should be more than enough. And you should bake it in, an, in a Dutch oven, like we are using here, completely covered for at least 30 minutes to let it rise with all the steam inside. So in it goes, 450 Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. After this time, you should uh, take off the lid and bake it for an additional 20 to 25 minutes or until you feel like the bread has uh, gotten the color that you wanted. So you see here, it's still not done. It will go about 24 or 20 more minutes in the oven. And this is the final result. So the most difficult thing to do right now is just uh, let it stay uh, on the cooling rack for at least one hour. Um, uh, otherwise the, the bread will be very difficult to cut and you won't be able to appreciate it further. So the bread is still baking and this uh, whole hour helps it um, become a much better product. So this is it. Have fun and good luck baking.